Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine, and in this video, I'm going to show you a mono printing technique using the gel press with some foam stamps. So I have my gel press. It, I keep them in the storage tin. This is the Ranger Gel Press co Collaboration. And previously, I showed you a video with the circle stamp, which is three inches diameter. This time I'm going to use the rectangle, the small one, which is three and a half inches by 6.75 inches. The tin is sold separately, but I love to use it because it just keeps all my gel presses nice and uh, together and clean. So I'm going to start by using Distress Paint in Mustard Seed. You can use any acrylic paint for this technique though. I just happen to have this handy. And I'm going to take my brayer and I'm going to just cover this in the yellow. And if there's different little textures or lines coming out, that's fine too. And I'm going to set it aside. I'm then going to take this small doily stamp from Art Foamies and I have Spice Marmalade paint. I'm using a makeup sponge I had handy to add the paint to my stamp. Now I like to use foam stamps for this technique just because typically you have uh, thicker lines. However, you can use regular rubber or clear stamps as well. So I'm just going to make sure we have a nice coat of paint on there. Then I'm going to bring it over to my stamp press and stamp it on. And you can see some of the orange paint has transferred on there. I'm going to wipe that off. And then I'm going to bring over my large doily. And this time I'm using picked raspberry. I'm just using the other end of my sponge. Make sure there's a nice amount of paint. And then I just stamp it on there. And I might just put a little bit on the edge there. So now we want to stamp this onto our card. Just try and wipe my fingers off a little with the paint. So you're going to take it and what we're going to get actually is some of the color is transferring on and some of it is being removed. So you have two different textures going on. You can tell even before we press it, the pink here. And we have some of the orange, but you can tell the white is where the stamp picked up the paint. So it's both of a printing on and a removing for texture. So there you go. I'm going to just clear this off. So as I said when we were printing it, you can see how we have the pink added in with the yellow and here it's a combination of orange and then removing the paint. Then to finish the card, I had used the small talk from Tim Holtz. They're just sort of funny sayings. And let's see, which one can I do? There's so many fun ones like um, 
uh, when in doubt, vacation, sorry, not sorry. In my defense, I was left unsupervised. Please cancel my subscription to your issues. I'm just trying to th find one that might be good for a card. I'll do this one. Well, no, because it's not really, that's about a boy and I don't think a boy would really want this card. Um, I should have picked one ahead of time. Okay, here, this is a good one. Okay, so I picked, I miss you like an idiot misses the point. So you just stick it on and you can send that to somebody you might miss. Now I just wanna show you one more thing. Because we have so much ink still on the press and the stamps and that, that's a good time to get out your art journal. Show you what I did. Here I just covered the background with the stamps until all the paint was off. Then I there was still some more paint. I put the press down. Here I took my um, uh, foam thing and dabbed on all the circles and then just rubbed off the paint on this page. And then here I did stripes and I was rubbing off the paint. So don't waste this paint. Get out um, papers that you can use for collaging. Get out your art journal and just even if it's a base to something and you can work on top of it later. And then I'll also show you I did one card when I was just cleaning up my gel plate and stamped it on just as is and put a saying on it. So if you're doing this you want to get out multiple cards or papers and do a lot at one time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.